Yo, this is a ton of plays Pokemon Violet, and yes, you're not hearing things or hearing wrong. I got the microphone working again from the last batch of recording. So first of all, I want to say I sincerely apologize for screwing up not having the microphone on Able X. Well, how did I screw up that? I don't know. And it was always so late into recording, editing, and then publishing videos. It's like, I can't go back. I'm really sorry. So, oh well. Let's continue anyways. So, we got to do, do some stuff since last time we did our batch recording from the last episodes. Now we have gotten quite a lot of objectives done. As you can see, we have three badges. We have two Star Force Street Team Star beatins, Beatdowns. And we've taken out two of the legendary Pokemon. And we're gonna keep on doing that very soon. But, we haven't been to school for a while. Let's see if there's been some new stuff ongoing. Because they do update the school every now and then with more stuff to do you have other lectures you have other storyline things to go through so might as well just go up and explore and learn more about the world of paldea also since the last time of batch recordings pokemon home has finally been added to scarlet and violet but i'm going to not use it for now maybe later but not for now I want to keep try to keep the UC team I have and also if I want to get more Pokemon to my team I'll go and capture them in the wild instead of just bringing them from my home game Even though of course I will lack out on the bonus experience and so on, but eh, that's fine It's not that difficult in my honest opinion All right go to this, to the, this care Let's see what class we can take. We can take biology, math, history, languages, battle studies, art, home Revisit class. Let's go for history this time. We'd miss Rightport. Let's do it. Don't be tardy. What kind of thing is that? To be tardy. I hope you guys, by the way, are enjoying the new anime as well. The Pokemon Rises anime. I've been watching uh, 12 episodes so far and I love it. Uh huh. I see we have some new students here with us today. My name is Rightford. I'll be the one to impart knowledge of the past to your little minds. History is a wonderful thing, truly splendid. The lives of our ancestors throughout history forged the path to the present in which we live. Today you shall learn about the most mysterious location in all of Paldea, the Great Crater. As you're all aware, a massive crater known as the Great Crater of Paldea exists in the heart of our region. The area inside this crater is called Area Zero. And research of its geological strata and material composition has shown that the crater is in fact over one million years old. It was unbelieved that a certain something rested at the bottom of this mysterious crater. Aha! Perfect timing to make eye contact, young Satano. Answer me this. What exactly was believed to rest in the depths of the great crater inside Area Zero? Treasure... Snorlax, the Pokemon Center. Maybe there are Snorlax down there. Pokemon Center, probably not. Go treasure. Eh, that is correct. You're a surprisingly clever one, aren't you? I see you did your homework prior to coming to my class. That's right. Some believe that a treasure more valuable than anything else in this world rested in the depths of the Great Crater. So much for dreams of treasure hunting, though, as a lab has been built in the, those very same depths. Oh, and before I forget, you would all do well to remember that the Great Crater and Area Zero are both off-limits to all but those who have official business there. Not dare entertain the foolish notions of gallivanting off to Area Zero in search of riches. It is no place for children dreaming of treasure and adventure. Besides, if it were at all possible to investigate the area, I would surely be the first to do so. Oh, is that the time already? I must have gotten swept up in filling your minds with knowledge. This ends today's lesson. We unravel more of the history's enigmas together next time. Oh, Area Zero is a mysterious place, eh? Oh, don't worry. If there's a place that we're gonna explore for adventure, we will. We will be going there much, much later. I mean, history class is interesting. Let's do one more. I like that there's no time schedule in this one. You can just do classes whenever you want, and they have to wait for you. Or something like that. Always on time paradoxes around to make sure you can attend the classes. 
Greetings, my little students. Whatever did you think yesterday, now it's a part of a history. Today we'll continue to unravel the marvels that history has presented to us. About 2,000 years ago, this region came under the rule of the Paldean Empire. Historical accounts describe the Paldean Emperor as being quite the dictator. This emperor also zealously believed the legend of the treasure that rests deep within Area Zero. I must mention that the civilizations of our ancestors were not as developed as ours is today. People back then were far more likely to believe in mysterious legends, magic, and beings beyond inhuman comprehension. In an attempt to gain the power to stand against Paldea's neighboring countries, the Emperor sent people in droves to join the hunt for fabled treasures of Area Zero. Ah, perfect timing to make eye contact, young Sitano. Answer me this! Approximately how many years ago was it that the Paldean Empire began to rule this region? Is that 2000? Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you see the images behind on her on her blackboard, yeah. If you've been po playing Pokemon Legends Arceus, that character professor behind there is indeed one of them. The Pokeball is also used there, so yeah, it sort of shows that Legends were indeed in the past. But that was the... That wasn't Paldea though, that was in the Cine region of all. The answer is about 2,000 years ago. That is when the great area of exploration began. However, it is said that not a single adventure sent out by the Emperor ever reached the depths of Area Zero. Was it the punishing journey itself that barred the way? Or perhaps some unknown creature? The resounding failure of this great era of exploration is almost certainly heightened the era of mystery of surrounding the crater. Oh, why would I not give to explore Area Zero in this untouched state at the time? I suppose I can only hope for the swift invention of a time machine. Probably, we'll see. I like this history thing. At least we get some more information about Paldea and about the regions around it. We can do one more lesson. Maybe we can try some other lesson too while we are here. Let's go for lesson number three with Miss Rifleford. More history lessons about Paldea and the areas of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Let's see what we learned this time. Greetings, my little students. Whatever they did yesterday is now a part of history. Today we continue to unravel the marvels that history has presented to us. As you should remember from our last class, Area Zero's great era of exploration began about 2,000 years ago. This era lasted for approximately 1,000 years. Not a single soul was able to venture all the way to the deepest reaches of Area Zero. Having poured much of its human and financial resources into exploration of Area Zero for so long, the Paldean Empire fell into decline. 200 years later, or 800 years ago, the Empire and surrounding nations united into one entity. This was the formation of Paldea as we know it today. Ah, yes. This very academy where you're now filling your young mind with knowledge was also the apparent established at this time. In fact, this school building, though certainly have not undergone repairs through the years, is just that it was when it was built so long ago. This very structure is a piece of history. Ah, things of all are truly splendid. I would certainly prefer not have the bifocable portion, though, a relatively new addition. Now another, let's do a quiz. How many years ago was this Academy of Arts established? About 800 years ago, because that's when the nations became Paldea. This Academy was constructed exactly 805 years ago, to be precise. In other words, your Academy is here is 805 years old. At the time, it offered state-of-the-art facilities and unique innovations circling as such people used to say. Those seeking knowledge need to look no further than the grapes of Paldea. That's right, they're referring to Uva Academy. It is said that this proverb of sort was even used outside of the Paldea region. Next class is going to be the midterm exam, so let's do that one too. Just a note though, um, one of the and post game things you can do, which is involving some cool Pokemon and so on, do actually require you to do some studies here at the Academy. 
but we'll go to that later. Because we're still very far away from that even going close. Let's go to the history midterm. Let's see what the midterm exam is all about. Or should we say how difficult it might be as well? Greetings, fellow students. It is now time for our midterm examination. Summon your historical knowledge from the dark recess of your minds and answer these questions. What is the name of the geological formation in the center of the Paldea region? Is it A. The Great C Crater of Paldea, B. The Center of Paldea, or C. The Paldean Valley Floor? The answer, of course, is A. The Great pa Crater of Paldea. What was the long believed to rest in, in the depths of Area Zero? A. A mysterious Pokemon. B. A school. Or C. Treasure. Now, I will be really tempted to say A because uh, maybe the treasure R is a Pokemon, but we haven't really been told exactly what it is. Treasure is probably the more easy to describe of what it could be at the bottom. How many years ago did the Apaldian Empire begin to rule this region? Approximately 1,000 years ago? Approximately 2,000 years ago, or approximately 3,000 years ago? The answer was 2,000. How many years ago was this academy built? 805 years ago, 806 years ago, or 807 years ago? The answer is A. Those seeking what need to look no further than the grapes of Paldea. Was it power, courage, or knowledge? I actually don't really remember what this one. I think it is knowledge. We'll see. Ah, the last question was a freebie. Even the least capable of you should have padded your score there. I sincerely hope you did anyway. Alright, so that's the end of the examination. Let's go check the front desk and see how well we did. Did we do well? Did we fail? We pass. We did perfect. The results are: we need to get three questions correct to pass the midterm exam, and four questions correct to pass the final exam. I got five out of five, so it was indeed knowledge. Perfect score. Nice. So because we passed the exam, we got to get a little reward. Five eggs became this small. Once you've done the class, you can then maybe do some more. No, so now you can see that the history class is no longer here. But we can get to do more though, because this was just the first part of the class. So later on, once we do more objectives, you can get to more history classes to get more, more deep knowledge and even harder questions and so on. So, yeah. If you do like the lore of this game and want to, you know, study more about Pokemon and so on, and you want to learn more about what these things have to offer, then certainly. Kings classes can also be a nice little thing to do. Do you want something else than battling and traveling and so etc. 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 We will return here after we've done some more objectives and try to do one more of the other classes like languages, home, Missy, or other kind of cool studies. Maybe even battle studies, which will also be important. Alright, so. Now that we've done through class and done some stuff, let's see. We have right now Azumarill, Necklestack, Cloud Sire, Poma, Flamigo, and Crocolore. So, where should we go next? So, let's see. We have gotten seven objectives done, we still have 11 more to go. I think I'm going to go back to the East region again. Because now we've done the lower part here. Maybe it's time to do the upper part here. And there is an objective you can do actually rather quickly. It's sort of... I don't think it's hard. It, it's it's fine. Yeah, I'm going to do a bit of a zigzag right now. So our next objective is actually going to be another Titan. So we have two ways to get there. We can either go to 
Oh, we actually have to go first. We have to go here, of course. We haven't been to South Africa yet. We can go through here. We're going to go here anyways. So next objective is going to go around here. The Titan. Lurking Steel Titan will be the next thing we're going to do. After that, we could go and go for another Steam Star Badge. But I do think I'm going to hold on to fighting him first. Because this will be a little zigzag. We also have this guy here. Kofu, the Kaskarafa gym leader. I think we should be able to take him on after we've done that, that, that um, Titan. Then we're going to go back and fight off against, uh, against uh, this guy. And then we also have another gym here. So yeah, 4th and 5th gym, 1 team star and 1 legends. Titan to face. And then we have some more stuff after that. I think that's going to be probably the best way to do it for now. That means for our next objective we need to fly back to Lavincia, where we got our third gym badge. So Steel Pokemon is gonna be the one we're gonna face because it said lurking Steel Titan. Steel is one of the five types that represents the Titans. Steel, you know, have a lot of resistances, but they also have some weaknesses that are weak to fighting, they're weak to ground, they're weak to fire, for example. So if you have one of those Pokemon, you should be fine. And we do have multiple of these. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. Next episode, we're going to go for another Titan. Then we're going to go Zig to the west side to fight a gym leader, back to east side for a team star base, then back to west side for another gym badge. After that, we will have to wait and see what we will do, because it might be a little back and forth change again of what we're going to do on our journey. So stay put, guys. It's going to be fun. Very fun. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. And that's good for now. See you next time with my journey in Pokemon Violet continues. <laughs>